How you guys doing? My name is Adrian. Uh, just making a nice little video stream for my buddies. We decided to make a YouTube channel together. And out of all the games I had, I had to play Kingdom for my first game. Not just because I absolutely love this game, but because I don't think it gets enough respect for what it does, well, what it did and what it does. Because this game is massive, detailed, and extremely well um, built around the story and everything around it. I can easily tell you playing this the second time, it will not be another playthrough. And I've only played this once and I've never beat it. Um, I pretty sure I've got to the halfway point at best I this game is really long and I have like 200 hours on the game and I'm still saying maybe I'm at halfway point now oh, granted I was just flopping around and just running around the thing admiring everything about it so I will be trying to make this a little bit easier and better um, a little bit more fast paced but I am going to let the, the story play out let you hear the story mode and everything about that let me just start a new game so that can start processing. Um, pretty much, this game is huge. It is such an incredible game, but it does not hold your hand. And I think that's where it gets a lot of um, crap about it. Because it's just so much to take in. And it's so hard for a lot of people to get that love and respect when they're still trying to process what the hell's going on. <laughs> Again, just a beautiful area, beautiful scenery. Such a lovely and well-built game. I have no mods on, so this is just straight up footage. Uh, granted, all games, once you start getting into it, it doesn't look as clean, but still, for the size and scope, I really do give props to the creators. Scallops. So much detail, literally, they, uh, I'm pretty sure they thought of everything in every possible way to make sure this game was as immersive as possible. Such different colors, trying to show this off. Same to you. Today's a <laughs> well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? A blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> you go and get the lazy bones up then. <laughs> Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Get up now. There's work to be done. <sighs> get up or I'll come get you up. Bug Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? 
you better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Mm, well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <laughs> <laughs> state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Now, I l always laughed at this one thing because you get to choose these things. You'll select the character, default character. If you're not side with them, not or all characters can be further developed without limitation. Yes, because this never happens again. Literally, this very first scenario i thought this was going to be something that pops up over time no uh, forever your speech will always be for speech everything else will have to be done through other means speech is talking agility is mainly just running around on foot or um fighting vitality i think that's also just fighting and strength can be done with fighting working or just anything with physical strength which do does make um too much um thing but if I'm correct, I think strength was the one I really wanted to get. I was sweating get. in the forge all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who's turned up in town recently. All right, uh... Yeah, yeah. No, it's just Matthias was teaching me archery. <gasps> archery? Do you want to become a poacher? Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where did you get a bow anyway? Oh, come on. I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. <sighs> Christ, give me strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God. Promise. I promise. All right. Now that all my settings are picked, I can now just play the game. <laughs> Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. It's <laughs> unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was with Bianca, of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. Of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. <laughs> At least he's interested in something. Hey, I gotta like freaking get my brews done today. You're too busy that's getting into mischief thing. to Don't go about this it. day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You mark my words. <laughs> I'm hungry. I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Yay. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. All right. I, I already know Pa's angry at me, so let's just keep going. <laughs> All right, well, this game is absolutely immersive. Uh, it gets really in-depth. You saw the dialogue. It's, it, the dialogue gets so more expansive as you go. And hardcore mode, oh, it, get, it hurts just a bit. I played just a bit on my own, but I did not like having to constantly fight for my life. <laughs> so let me pick up some cheese. This is the first thing that threw me off. I was sleeping on a damn bench, and I was like, uh, bed? 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 Is bed in here? No? No beds? 
beds. No one slept on beds. And that is the weirdest thing about this game is you'd think they would, you know, design a sleeping area. It'd be like, hmm, let me put some freaking wheat down or something just to sleep. Nope, a wooden freaking bench. I'm going to sleep on this bench too. That Everyone sleeps on benches in this game. Uh, there's very few beds. So, yeah, if you're wondering why people are sleeping in strange areas, well, I guess that was just the time. I do not know enough about history to be like, did they have a bed to sleep on? Or did they just sleep on whatever they could find? But, well, compass. The compass is the lifeline, and oh, does it get packed full with side quests. It is worse than Fallout 4 side quests in freaking Skyrim. Like, this thing can get really full really quickly, and I just have to start chopping everything away and be like, alright, I'll just get it done when I feel like it. Found a grindstone. I don't even know where I found that. Oh, right there. Yeah, this game, you can pretty much do everything. You can become a blacksmith. It can be a little bit of everything you learn, you do, you train, you study. Everything, but you don't start off being the man of destiny. You're just a kid that literally has never seen anything other than this. This is his entire life, which is just absolutely crazy how we take something like traveling to granted because uh, this guy's never seen anything else. This has been his whole life for probably 16, 18 years. Just, uh, I'm so grateful we're in the times we are, but let's continue on. What's the matter with you, Captain? Didn't you hear me calling? people pretty much this is just you can try to negotiate way out crown with heart that's just trying to be noble and they just see you as a higher up strength is always a gamble because you just don't know who you're talking to you can always cause problems but if you're wearing your full armor i'll show you a way to freaking cheat that system if you ever want to play this game and bribing is the desperation i always call it because no you don't have to unless you're trying to haggle people and trade then yes always make them pay um more for your stuff than what it should be that's why i like about this game over all else is being able to get more for the stuff instead of just getting ripped off by every merchant in the damn game and the special skills now you'll see that i uh, i'll be missing out on quite a few of those this game literally shows you that you could have taken different routes, even though the chance of you getting to that route is near impossible, which I kind of feel messed up, but it's going through that way. You could probably get the special cases before anything pops up if you grind it to madness, but for this gameplay, I don't have that time, so I'm just going to make sure I just go on and you'll see those pop up every now and then. Sorry, I have to go and deal with something. Well, it's no great tragedy. Ah. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure will be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasai. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. I feel quite hungry. Oh, yeah, you don't just eat, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go into this wonderful inventory and as you see, you got a decent amount of customization. Um, pretty much layered armor sets, basic um, clothing, goes by that, everything, has different perks and um, uh, buffs and debuffs 
you can't just have one perfect set for everything. Literally, you got to make probably three sets I usually carried around. I had my fighting, my stealth, and my, I guess, barding or charisma set, I should say, man. It, and trust me, you will use them a lot. This game really requires that, and the first thing that you want to get is a horse. A horse is everything in this game. It is essentially a car. You just throw everything on it, but it follows you. It's pretty nice. I'm not much of a horse guy myself, but man, in this game, I definitely am. <laughs> there it goes. And this game is pretty rough on these um, different things. If it's not like absolutely perfect, yeah, you get freaking debuffs. If I eat too much, I get debuffs. My energy goes about, I think, four, uh, down to below 40, I have debuffs. So uh, this game really does hurt you. This is just normal mode. Trust me, hard gets a little bit cruel. <sighs> Well, let's continue on. I'm just gonna go get the pummel real quick. Go to the castle, just like you said. If you're ever wanting just a freaking dictionary, yeah, this is it, and it gets quite, quite big. Every time you pop into a new location, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and at one point, you're just gonna say, hell with it, I'm not reading it anymore. But the codex is amazing. The amount of work they put in, and they pulled everything from somewhere, some way, some time, and to make this story, it is so immersive how well they did this. A lot of credit to the developers of this game. Ah, uh, but let's get back to the um, game. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzig, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father has them engraved in Sassau. Right, they're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? <laughs> ah, shut up and give me what I want or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. I got a cross guard. Now we gotta go pick up loan money. <laughs> I'm literally becoming the loan shark for my papa. Which I believe is cushion. Ah, yes. Hey, cushion. I'll be with you, Kurt. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, he'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Yeah. Look, I know things aren't easy. The wife ran off. Booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore! How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Ah, oh, yeah. Farewell. Time to fucking fight! <laughs> Man. <laughs> can't even fight a drunkard. Oh, I forgot I can't counter. I'm not strong enough yet. Yeah, the guy's energy bar on this game is pretty shitty. There we go. Woo! <laughs> As you see, beat him, uh, a decent amount of combat in this game. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Ooh. Ooh, yeah, this game's combat system is rough. Uh, if you're a guy who's never really had fights, he has no training, he's just a freaking kid. So, why would you know how to freaking be the most 
um, powerful fighter in the world right off the bat. He don't know any cool killer moves or anything like that. He's just a guy. And you have to start out in the eyes of a fledgling. You have to work your way up to become good. You can't just expect to become someone greater than what it is. And that's usually what happens. It's just, you gotta train, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Experience, experience, experience. Getting in the fights, doing events, everything, even failing. That is the one thing that I had to really get used to accepting in the beginning is that when you uh, join tournaments, uh, the final guy is usually pretty strong and pretty badass. Well, you might just be a few hours in the game and he's going to make it very painful to watch. And I got so upset when I could not beat this guy. But once I started to go to a uh, trainer and actually learn how to fight, the game technically just unlocks moves for you. But still, it gets you to a point where you can actually do things. And, oh, this game. So much fun. <laughs> Good health to you. I don't even know how much I was going to buy. Do I four? Let's see if I can haggle. About the price. Naturally. It's it's the bread and butter of this game. Haggling not only allows you to buy things cheaper, it allows you to sell things for more. And that's always the best thing about this game, is you simply just... Oh, wrong direction. I was going to pay him. You go like that. What do you say to this? Close. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. Oop. Finally, a reasonable sum. Boom. <laughs> and you get reputation for that, for some weird reason. All right, blacksmith's boy, you got the better of me. Take what you want, but you haven't heard the last of this. The hell? He usually has a bit more than that. Try to figure out where I can grab more money. Oh, I don't. Do I know herbs yet? I know a little bit. <laughs> Herb picking is such a quick way to get money. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Yes, everyone knows me. I am the badass. Hey, Pip. Do you want to learn something? No. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wounds? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Love that word, stuck in. Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Have a story for you. Insulting our king. <laughs> what insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope. God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsche Spalling ship. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, 
He would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. <laughs> Deutsch has gone too far. People Deutsch always preach in politics. <laughs> Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. And Doesn't boys will be boys. You <laughs> should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit. It made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to this freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some turds will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for a father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Radzik's sword. Come on. Throwing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? As troublesome as it is, I'm always with the burrows. I'm always with the boys. The boys. Oh well, father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. <laughs> out to cause mischief. <laughs> so are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, <laughs> it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. Go on the boy. Aye. Uh, these scenes um, do get you lower reputation, but they do help you build your skills. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right, and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the popes! He might have mentioned the popes, too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. There we go! <laughs> there we go. Get him run away. Alright, boys. You ready? Yep, reputation lost. That's disgusting. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. That's for Sigismund. Woohoo! Eat shit, Dorsius. You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse Hans! I'll make those smiles off your faces! Oh. I'd like to see you try. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this proxy Deutsche? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. 
<laughs> Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that! Alright, back into the fight we go! <laughs> Gotta breathe. Ah, oh, my fucking face. <laughs> oh, hey, catchpole. They're going over there. Good times with the boys and lots of leveling. <laughs> I don't always condone violence, but at times, maybe. <laughs> I'll wash off any of my bruises. My guy's getting so beat up, and I um, don't really have a way to fix that right now. Must get to my training. So, can we get started? We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start from the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. This is true in this game. Never stop moving. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Yeah. Not bad. Now you're getting it. All right. Not bad. Fine. The there. point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Now you're getting it. Nice. Fine. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Yes, this is really, really hard. But once you get good at it... Good. Once again. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Nice. That it becomes so much of this game. <laughs> All right. I forgot I have to freak. Yeah, I have to literally just take everything this guy has. All right. Let me see how much this axe sells for. Uh, let's see if I can buy. I need how many? Six more. Ooh. <laughs> uh. I get one. Uh, check basket and haggle. I'd like to discuss the price. Naturally. All right. Let's drop them down to one. Since it's you. Sounds pretty interesting. Oh, there we go. No deal. I like how I leveled up in speech, but yeah, I still lost the trade. There's that. No, I just have to find my girl. Ah, oh, there. She is. God save my lovely. You're looking well today. 
<laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? She's just Dale. What else could I expect from a village love? <laughs> what will it be then, ragamuffin? No. Need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. <laughs> Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, damn. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Lanya? I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin rubbing on his wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, Sabir Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Oh yes, the blessed Savior Snaps. The freaking... The, literally the best thing in this damn game uh, and also the worst thing in the game because um, you cannot save the game without if you look at the very bottom it says it will cost you a save your snaps if you run out of save your snaps you cannot save the game ever and this can bite you in the butt many times even the saving bites you because you get drunk when you um, save so you um, lose uh, I guess skill uh, uh, and every attribute because you're um, freaking a little tipsy which all bite you later because if you want to be safe you'll have to drink but once you drink now you're less able to do what you need to do but that's what this game has a trade-off everything requires a trade-off and it all bites <laughs> let me see what these idiots are doing before I go back to father Sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Language. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us but throw in a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. It's a good thing your Hanko warned us. Well behaved girl like that. I'm surprised she didn't call the catch pole. She must have seen Matthias. What do you mean? Because he fancies her. And I think maybe she likes the look of him too. Hey. 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 I love that. <laughs> anyway, nice job at the Flirting with the boy. <laughs> Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> Father, I've retrieved this goods you required. And we can continue on to the main game because this is just the beginning. This is all prologue for you lovely people. Let's see how it goes from here. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasa will do for us. <sighs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? I'm damned if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Hmm. Well, Radzig ordered it. This will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good. Then fire up the forge and put it all together. Oi! 
By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> he was here with the catchpole earlier. And it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the king. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself when he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Oh, let it be that I will admit you in this game. <laughs> Try using your mouth and not your fists. Uh, interesting idea, but I always feel that you should have both. No, 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 no both. Best be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in the battlefield. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out... You slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. <laughs> no gloves, just go right in. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the garb. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? You remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Hmm. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose life is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund. He brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Leave it here, and we'll put it all together. It's magnificent. Be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Alrighty, going to go get some nails. Yeah, this game has a lot of video, a lot of recordings. I'm actually very, very well pressed how much video 
It is actually in this game of all the cutscenes. It's very, very nice. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. My boy, he does not know when to stop. Fine, lass, eh? <laughs> Even the good fellas like stop it. Stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. <laughs> Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a common? Try it. <laughs> You still have a lot to learn. <laughs> Ask your father to show you. Oh, how he wow. Does yep. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows? How did the handle get so badass? I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Isman? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isvan. Have a safe journey to Sasa. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Oh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here. Beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. And so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world. Meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. Then you've no need to learn swordplay. Uh-oh. <laughs> the messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Oh jeez, how that must have looked to people when stuff like that happened.
Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the truck. Go to the castle. Hurry, what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her, follow right behind. I'll go with you. No, you'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Ragnar. If anything happens, we'll take care of you. He owes me. That would hurt like hell, but I don't think he would drop you that quickly. Oh fuck, I would be so upset if that I saw that. My own parents. That's, that's not a thing a child should have to see. There's so many I've probably seen at that time. Oof. Okay, well, now we're running for our lives. Holy crap. Because they are chasing after me. Okay, oh, run, 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 run. Everyone's getting attacked. Everyone's in a panic. I just saw my parrot die. This is not a good day. And my boy can't run farther than a few feet. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I don't care right now. Gotta go. Okay, running for my life. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, these were such probably scary times. They're just running over the mountains. Oh god. Shitty, really quickly. Yeah. Ow, 
Ouch. And I'm low on health, and I'm bleeding. Freaking fabulous. Oh, yes, I'm dying. Things, and my horse is tired. Oh, God. I'll move to the left along the stream. Oh my gosh. Run you little horse. Oh my god. It is bleeding so much. And my guy's stamina starting to drop. Flee. Oh, he's behind me. Uh, oh, come on, breathe. Oh, well then breathe. Oh, I love how your their horses don't have any caps. They're just like full on. Like, yep, let's go. We can run for the next twenty years. Okay, I made that. <laughs> A horse just has an arrow in it, or it's my leg, one or the other. <laughs> They're laughing like, ha 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 ha, we, we scared three people. <laughs> Give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm going to pull that hair out. Oof. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. As good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Damn. <laughs> Arrow to the freaking leg. Not to the knee, but to the leg. Luckily, it wasn't to the knee. I can keep fighting to, for another day. Sir, this is a survivor from. I heard, Robard. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the ensigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a. Uh, strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. 
But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Skalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat. Get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. All right. Okay, we got a lot done for this um, recording. I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, unfortunately, I have to end this recording now. Um, I don't know uh, where it's going to beat up. Uh, we might put it into two. I might have it into one for this one, just one long one. Uh, so far, I'm really enjoying it. I, it's, the nostalgia is not even there. It just feels like a whole new feeling. Oh, yep, I remember these times. Uh, going through this game is just, it's still new, it's still fresh, there's still so much to see and do. I'm really um, eager to keep playing more, but I'm going to have to end it for this recording. If you do like this video, uh, give it a like, give me comments for any other type of games you guys like to play. I play a large variety. Um, I can do different things of different styles. Just um, throw up ideas out there if anyone has an idea, and I can play them. Uh, just figure out what's going on and go by that. But anyway, thank you for everything and I'll see you in the next one.